Hi everyone, this is Anas Khalid from BCS B2 section and my roll number is 150. This is my video assignment and my topic is the partition of India division of assets. Now first of all I am going to introduce my topic that the creation of Pakistan started a new era of problems for Pakistan. Like most of these problems were deliberately created by India itself. So that Pakistan would not maintain its independent status and soon merge with India. At that time, Nehru told General Sir Frank Miserwe in 1945, his deliberate plan would be to allow China to have his Pakistan and gradually make things so impossible economically and otherwise for Pakistan that they have to come on their bended knees and ask to be allowed back to India but finally Muslims were successful to getting their separate homeland. In my next slide there are some partition problems. As we all know Pakistan came into existence on 14th August 1947 with much of these sacrifices and bloodshed. Soon after its establishment Pakistan faced a number of problems most of the problems of Pakistan were related with Pakistan dispute with India, such as accessions of princely states, canal water dispute, refugees problems and uh, uh, distribution of armed and military assets. Uh, the analysis of the boundary award. The award was partial, unjust and unfair to Pakistan. Uh, Muslim majority areas handed over to India. Uh, like Gurdaspur and Firozpur. Award also paved way to dispute between Pakistan and India. Now I am going to tell you some names of popular areas of Muslim majority handed to India. Sub-district of Ajnala in Amritsar district. Sub-district of Jalandhar in Jalandhar district. Sub-district of Firozpur and Zaira in Firozpur district. Sub districts of Batala and Gurdaspur in Gurdaspur district. These are only some of the Muslim majority areas which were handed to the India during the partition. There are a lot of other areas which were handed to the India during the partition unjustly and unfairly. Accession of princely states. At the time of partition, in subcontinent, 462 princely states covered one-third of Indian territory and one-fourth of its population. Rules were given option to join India, Pakistan or remain independent. By 15 August, most of these states announced their accessions, except Kashmir, Hyderabad and Junagar. Kashmir Kashmir is the biggest problem between Pakistan and India which is still not resolved. First of all talk about the location of Kashmir. Kashmir is situated on the north of Pakistan and it share its one third of boundary with Pakistan. And it covers 84,471 square miles. At the time of partition, 77% of its population was Muslim. At the time of partition, Kashmir ruled Kashmir ruled by a Hindu ruler, Hari Singh. Muslim majority wanted to join Pakistan. Maharaja wanted to maintain independent status of the state. Still, Kashmir issue is not resolved between Pakistan and it is, a, it is a biggest reason for dispute between Pakistan and India. In the next slide, I am going to tell you about Hyderabad. First of all, talk about the location of Hyderabad. It is situated in the south of India. The rulers of Hyderabad are called Nizam. It is also a Muslim majority state covering 82,000 82, square miles of area. 
A really important position of the state, Mountbatten put pressure on Nizam to agate with India. But the Nizam refused to agree with Mountbatten. Uh, in the result, on September 13, 1948, Indian forces entered in Hyderabad and occupied it. Now it is a part of India. On this step of Indian forces, Pakistan complained against illegal action of India in UNO, which is still pending. My next point is Division of Military Assessed. It is one of the biggest problem Pakistan had faced after the partition. Like all the other divisions, India also did unjust and unfair division of military assessed. For the security and the safeguard of its territory, Pakistan needed armed forces and military equipment. Pakistan demanded immediate division, but British Chief Marshal Oshin Lek was against the division of army assessed. He wanted that the both countries have a joined a combined military. It was announced on 1st July 1947 that Indian Army would also be divided into a ratio of 64% to 36% between India and Pakistan, which was a totally unjust and unfair division. The Armed Forces Reconstitution Committee under the chairmanship of Sir Ocean Lake was set up. Whatever Pakistan received was nothing but scrap. There were 16 ordnance factories and all were located in India. Pakistan were given 60 million rupees towards its share in the ordnance factories. Pakistan received 6 armored divisions to India's 14 eight utterly divisions to India's 40 and eight divisions of infantry to India's 21. Pakistan received a staff college in Quetta and service corps college in Kakul. All the points I have shared with you are the proofs that India did an unjust and unfair division of all the assets. After sharing all my points, it's time to come to the conclusion. By the blessing of Allah, by the grace of Allah, Pakistan came into being as a free Muslim state in quite unfavorable circumstances. By the hard work of Qaeda's Muhammad Ali Jinnah, his golden principles, unity, faith and discipline gave way to Pakistan for a bright future for a strong and well-developed country. In his last message to the nation, and that was a memorable message for the, for the nation, on 14th August 1948, he told the nation the foundation of your state have been laid and it is now for you to build and build as quickly as you can. So this was my, talk, my, this was my topic and uh, I am very thankful to my sir.